What's up everyone, this is Mitch here again for Adobe and today we're going to be doing some really interesting techniques utilizing some uh, animated textures that we can find on Adobe Stock and we're going to be using that as uh, a, a driver for some particle simulations within Cinema 4D. It's going to be crazy fun, uh, pretty simple too. I use this technique a ton in my uh, daily life with my clients. You can get some really cool abstract looks from it. You can do some really neat degrading and destruction looks. It's a pretty dynamic technique to use. So let's just go ahead and jump in and start making something cool. So here we are on Adobe Stock's website. Uh, yesterday I already went through and grabbed a couple clips that I thought would be nice for this technique. Uh, we got this really interesting kind of white and tan bubble look, which is could be cool. I think that one might be the more interesting one to use. We got this neat wave look and then this crazy just out of control glitch stuff which might be a little too abstract so I think let's just go with the uh, the bubbles and I think it'll give us some good contrast and a little bit of movement and um, it, it should be good. Let's go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D and we're just gonna start creating our general scene while this uh, downloads real quick. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna go and create a plane object and this will be just our base mesh that we use um, to emit from. And we'll go ahead and make this 1920 by 1080 uh, centimeters just because we know that our video is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Easy way to do it. Um, so we got the exact size that we need and what we got to do next is uh, we can go ahead and pop in our uh, particle simulation system. I'm using X particles, which is probably the best particle simulation uh, system that you can really buy right now. Um, so I'm gonna open up this uh, XP emitter and we're gonna drag our plane onto it. And so you can see that we're getting some emissions out of our um, vertex geometry here. It's just basically emitting from the geometry segments, uh, which is cool, but it's not gonna work for this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop in that texture that we uh, got off Adobe Stock. So I'll just go ahead and load that up. So <clears throat> we can go ahead and just close out of that. We'll go back into our emitter for X particles and we'll go down to emit from and we'll switch that to texture since we're wanting it to emit from the texture that we build. And uh, we'll go and drag the texture onto our plane and you can see that uh, we're able to see it pretty clearly here. Okay, so we'll go into our emitter and our texture and we'll drag and drop that plane texture onto our texture tag here. So we're starting to see, once we animate this thing out, that our particles are starting to animate and blend. And what we're gonna do here is try to just limit the amount of distance that these particles can actually move. So we're gonna go um, to our mapping on the X particle speed modifier. And we're gonna map it to the particles uh, lifespan, I believe. So you can see that these particles end up dying right at the uh, tippy top there. So you can see we're getting a, a tiny bit of depth depending on how far up these particles go, depending on what color they are. So you're getting a ton of depth there. Um, from basically no work. And I'm starting to see a little bit, but I think it might work better for above and I'll hide our ground plane. And so we're getting this really interesting, almost web type feel, which may be a too much depending on uh, the feel that you're going for. So really that's basically it. I'll uh, leave it here for you guys to grab textures on Adobe Stock and um, jump into Cinema 4D and start making some stuff. I uh, hope you guys have a lot of fun this one. It's weird, it's different, but I think the technique is something that can be used in a wide range of things. Um, so go on to Adobe Stock, find some awesome textures, and uh, get cracking on Cinema 4D, pop it into After Effects, and you got a really cool project on your hands that uh, I think you'd be proud of. So. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to show me your work about what you created with this tutorial, please send it over and I'd love to see it. Uh, my website is mitchmyers.tv or you can find me on Instagram um, at mitchmyersofficial. And uh, yeah, give me a shout. Thanks. See you guys later.